you want to join an army and I think that's amazing. So I am going to give you 10 additional things to think about. Hello Battle Bays, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am Andrea Siobhan and I'm currently a specialist in the United States Army. Now, if you're watching this video, you must be thinking about joining the Army. And while you have a lot of planning to do and a lot of things to think about as it is, I'm gonna give you a few more things to keep in mind. I don't want this video to be too long, so I am gonna just jump right into it, but real quick, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I post new videos. I mean, you're joining the army. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. We're going to be battle buddies. And it's a good chance we're going to see each other one of these days. We'll probably even get stationed together. Who knows? So why not subscribe? First off, you want to plan your visit to your recruiter. So you want to make sure you have your paperwork, such as your birth certificates for you, your spouse, your kids. Same with social security cards, any marriage licenses that you may have. You want to have all that stuff ready to go. Make sure you come with a list of questions on things that you're not 100% sure about so you can ask the recruiter. And I say have a list, that way things don't slip your mind when you get in. You're like, dang, I should have asked that, asked that question. You know, just make sure you go with that stuff ready make sure you have your medical records your criminal records all of that stuff that way your recruiter can get a good idea on what they're working with on whether or not you actually are qualified to even join the military at all secondly you want to do your research and i know you've probably watched so many videos of them saying do your research yes you need to do your research but andrea what do i research about everything you want to research everything you want to research your mos you want to research the qualifications for your mos what asvap score you're going to need you're going to want to research whether you want to go reserve versus national guard versus active duty you're going to research whether you want to join the army all together maybe you want to go to a different branch regardless you're going to want to do your research my next piece of advice is please 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 take the asvap serious the ASVAB does count and you need to take it as seriously as you take any other standardized test. You need to make sure you get some sleep the night before, make sure you get a good breakfast, make sure you actually study those practice tests and things that they have online. Take advantage of those and take as many of them as you can. That way you're used to the test because the score that you get on the ASVAB test is going to determine what job you're eligible for so if you've been researching a certain job and again that comes into doing your research but if you've been researching a certain job and you go and you take the ASVAP and you don't get the score you need guess what you're not getting that job if you have a 110 GT score you can pretty much do anything so you want a 110 GT score or higher and that's what you're gonna hear a lot being in the army so I would recommend it would behoove you <laughs> to take the ASVAB seriously the first time. Work out and start conditioning your body. Yes, when you get to basic training, they're gonna whip you right into shape, but you don't wanna be the one going to basic training and that's the first time you've done a push-up or a sit-up. They start doing push-ups, start doing sit-ups, start running because listen, two mile run may sound like it's a walk in a park. Make sure you are eating right, you're getting yourself into shape, you're conditioning yourself to go to basic. Don't, don't wait until basic to think everything's gonna magically happen at basic because it's gonna suck. My fifth piece of advice would have to be know your why. Try to keep in mind why you join the army in the first place because that strength is going to really come in handy when you are going through those rough times in basic training. <laughs> but seriously, and I know that sounds cheesy, but I joined the army because I wanted my education. I joined for education and I joined because I wanted to give me and my son, because I only had my son at the time, I wanted to give me and my son a better life. And I can remember being in the bay getting smoked going in 
we're 45 minutes into a smoke session and when i say the walls were sweating the floor was sweating the ceiling is dripping we all sweating full battle rattle i remember saying i'm doing this for my son i'm doing this for my family i'm doing this for my education i remember <laughs> in the middle of tears like my body was just so tired and i was just so hurt but i remember saying that and like just holding on to the reason why i joined and i'm like you know what i made it this far i'm I, I know exactly what i want i'm keeping it and i can literally envision myself with my son you know living the life that i want us to live and doing the things that i want i can envision myself graduating from like i can envision all of that things i know i always i always kept in mind and i still keep in the back of my mind why i joined the army and holding on to that helps it, it really does help you keep going so What was I? You want to keep an open mind. A lot of the stuff that you deal with and encounter here in the army, you probably won't be used to. You won't be used to moving to a completely different place hours and hours away from your family. I am an 18 hour drive away from my family. And although that is hard, I still make it work. You have to adapt to the situations that you are handed living in the barracks may not be ideal for you going overseas you're going to have to be open-minded you're you're going to have to be open-minded when you have to do those things that is a little bit out of your comfort zone but trust me trust me when i say you'll be fine you'll be fine because people before you did it you're doing it and people after you are going to do it as well so just try to come in and be positive and keep an open mind i can't put enough emphasis on be positive one of my most important pieces of advice i can give you is make sure all of your decisions are your decisions joining the military is nothing to wink at and some people don't realize that until they have signed that contract unfortunately and they've already shipped off to basic training this is nothing to take lightly because this is a big decision it really is a big decision and you don't want somebody's opinion of the army opinion of a certain mos or somebody's experience of a certain mos or somebody's experience of the military army to ultimately make your decisions and that's why i say again you need to do your research to figure out what it is that you want this is your life to live and this is also your career so you don't want to leave that up to anyone else but you trust me i'm not saying don't take anybody's advice because i did speak to a few people and i had input in different opinions and things given to me prior to getting in but ultimately i made my own decision you want to enjoy this you want this to be a good experience for you and you want it to be something that is meaningful to you make sure every decision that you make from your mos down to whether you're going active reserve national guards or if you even join an army at all make sure those decisions are your decisions understand that you are signing a binding contract so there's not going to be any writing out of two weeks notice handing it to your commander like all right sir i'm out of here no <laughs> no 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 you stuck if you sign a three-year contract you're in the army for three years if you sign a six-year contract you're in the army for six years so you need to again make sure that this is something that you really want to do you have a lot of people go through basic and realize that this is hard and all of this craziness and they try to pull all these stunts to get out when in actuality you're not going to get out you're going to still be in basic for the exact same amount of time everybody that's still doing what they're supposed to do is going to be in basic and you may even be there longer because when i went to basic i had holdovers in my class that was there before i got there and they were there when I graduated AIT. So just do what you're supposed to do and get through basic because honestly, I feel like that is where a lot of people think that they wanna quit. All in all, 
just do what you're supposed to do and make it through that contract after that first contract if you feel like it's not for you ets basic training is not the real army basic training is not the real army basic training is meant to be a very demanding very stressful and strenuous environment and it is that way for a reason it is meant to transform you from a civilian to a soldier it's meant to instill discipline in you that you otherwise would not have and it does what it's meant to do when i go home to visit my family even though i'm still the goofy crazy andrea i've always been they do tell me oh my god you change you seem more grown up you do feel the change and you walk differently you act differently you speak differently and that's what basic training is meant to do to you it's meant to turn you into a a soldier a good soldier and just just go through the process you know let basic do what basic is supposed to do yes it's going to be hard yes you're going to cry yes you may get hurt but it was worth it to me and graduating from basic training was one of the most proudest experiences one of the most proudest moments of my life i would say make it through basic and then when you get to the other side and you make it to your first duty station you are going to realize that it's not like that it's more it's more relaxed you know you don't have it's, it's not crazy now don't lose your military bearing you're still going to respect your ncos and you're still going to respect rank and you're still going to respect those that out, that outrank you and it's still common sense because you should be respecting anybody any other person regardless because that's what we all should have been taught growing up that you treat people the way you want to be treated you still go to parade rest when you're talking to ncos you still go to position of attention when you're speaking to officers you still do things the correct way just keep in mind basic is not the army basic is the way it is for a reason okay and that's just one of the things that you have to make it through in order to continue to wear this this nice uniform right here <laughs> lastly have fun yeah it's cliche but it's the truth have fun this is a one in a lifetime experience and this is less than one percent of the population doing this and wearing this uniform you want to make sure you are traveling you are experiencing new things you are meeting all these beautiful souls out here walking around in the same uniform that you have on you want to take advantage of this time that you have to do the things that you want to do within the army while you can be open-minded and enjoy yourself it don't always have to be strenuous and stressful and just crazy you're gonna meet some amazing people i've met whew, i've met some amazing people in the army okay and i expect to meet more and you're gonna be away from your family and you're gonna be away from your friends and the people that are around you you need to turn this into your family and you need to make these your friends because you're gonna need that support and you're gonna need them people in your corner i like the army i can't yeah i mean i have my complaints just like everybody else have their complaints but i like the army and I'm, I'm it's a blessing that i was even able to get this opportunity to join the army so i would say just live it up and have fun all right guys so that's it that's all i have the 10 things to keep in mind if you're thinking about joining the military if you like this video please like comment don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future videos comment down below and let me know what mos you're going for if you are thinking about joining the military i'll be excited to see and who knows i can probably find that mos to give you a little bit of insight and maybe give you a little bit of insight myself so yes i'll see you guys later for the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to